Hey there, Russell Traders. David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you a live trade, trade or setup number two for June 18, 2013. Just had a contract come off at, or two contracts come off at the CAM H4 line. I'll go ahead and probably enter into another trade here. I'll explain my reasoning why here in a second. Fib target one has been hit on a fib extension. The way the market's been moving, I most probably could have run that up to 992.9 and taken my contracts off, but I decided to get out at Cam H4. But price action has broken above the Cam H4 momentum move. I'm above daily R1. I'm above my Fib lines, I'm going to wait for an entry above 992.9. I'm on an EMA crossover. Once price breaks above Fib target 1, my price target will be 996, 996.1. And we'll go ahead and enter here. And two contracts. And we're going to set a target for 996.1. We're going to front run that by front run that by one, or two, and sit on this trade. And place a stop. Place a stop back at the top of Cam H4, which is 992. All right. As is, uh, we have a 4 EMA uh, in, uh, standing well today, 5 above, 13 above, 21 above, 80. We have the 5 above the 34. Market internals have really taken off here. Have some nice tick action above zero. We are at the pivot for AD. Would have liked to see that pop above. And our market breadth has drastically increased through the morning session. And our other market indices also popping up a little bit here as well. All right, so 996.1. I'm going to front run that. As soon as my target is hit, I will move, my, I'll move one contract to break even. We'll be back on as soon as we reach that target or our stop is taken up. All right, price action holding up nicely here with some solid blue, solid, uh, solid, uh, solid bars with tail up, significant buying here. Keeps me in the trade, five above 13, above 21, above 80. My stop down here at FIB, uh, FIB excuse me, at, uh, Cam H4 above momentum. I've gone ahead and decided to move my target down. I'm actually going to just take off both targets today because a 995.7 is the daily R2. I also have a FIB target at 995.996, a FIB retrace target at 995, and weekly FIB and monthly FIB up between 996 and 997. So a formidable almost four lines of defense just up in here. So I'm going to front run that and take off all my contracts and get out of this trade. All right, we're about 12, 12, 12 ticks away from our exit. What's keeping me in this trade? I have nice strong tick. I have an AD line that's up at 990. I've come above the pivot line. Market breadth has been increasing on the Russell. I got a three and a half to one on the NASDAQ, three to one on the NYSE. Nice strong, nice strong uptrend. You can uh, look for 995.6 to exit the trade with multiple, multiple lines of resistance of above. I have my EMA crossover. Again, the best trade of the day, just hanging in that. But that all started under the uh, inside the open range with a couple lines of resistance up above. 
daily R1, weekly R1, price holding up here, 995.6 is our target, 995.7 is the daily R2, Fib extension target at 996, so I'm going to front run that even a little bit less. Two contracts, four for the day. We're up 340 bucks for the day. Again, depends on how you trade and what your trading style is, how many contracts, what your comfort level is, what can you afford to lose. Market's holding this up. AD line at 987. And we'll come back on as we near the target. All right, price closing in on our target. Seven ticks away. We close this contract out. This is market impulse, market internals, high tick. Tick at 701. AD line at 10. We are above 1,000. That is all buying. 1,044. Tick. High count. Market breadth up. Keeps you in the trade. Heikinashi, solid candles here. Solid, solid, solid with tail up. Choice to move stop to break even here and not lose on this trade. Or give this room to run down. Preference of choice. 995.6. Eight ticks away. Give me a high of 995 now. We're at the high of the day. Again, I'm front running this. I'm not waiting until I get up. Would even consider moving my target down to 995.5 just to make sure if it goes up above that and comes back down. We'll keep that in the middle there. My AD line is above 1,000 now. Tick count coming back a little bit down, 477. Again, both last ticks above zero. Five above 13, above 21, above 80 EMA. Five above 34. Russell really, really taking the climb here versus the other indices. Russell leading the way here. Market press shining. AD line above the pivot, above 1,000. We are all go for up, even though we have a little bit of retrace on the tick. Still above zero. Just needs a little oomph here on the tick chart. And this trade should be golden. 995, high of the day. Closing on the target. All action above 25 minute open range. True patience would be entering all the way back here in the open range and just letting it ride. I decided to use the 25 minute open range as my momentum indicator. Multiple levels of resistance up above. Going to take it, my contracts off at 995.6. Profit up for the day, 500 on four contracts. Tearing it up here, 995.2 high of the day. Might even bring this down to 995.5 to lock in even more. Front run that daily R2. Go ahead and take the targets off a little bit sooner. We are three ticks away, two ticks away. Take whatever I can get in this market. And Let me see, D-line, 
1,000. Market breadth, 3.5 to 1 on both NICE and NASDAQ. Tick, ticks at 441. Closing in on the target, two ticks away, 995.3 the high. Heikinashi candles, choice to just drag our stop down and take this out or believe in your target. Keeps you emotionless, removes the emotion from your trading. No reason to come off. Two ticks away. Here we have a D line at 1,000, above 1,000. A lot of buying up here on the Russell. Get a last minute push here. Ticket 387, market breadth holding up strong. Nicey coming down a little bit, and we are out. Price still coming up. Could have held on to six, but that's all right. I'm out. Four contracts, 580 bucks, depending on how many you trade in a day. Daily R2 has been hit. Heikinashi candles kept you in the trade. Not to say price action won't keep going up here, but I'm happy to take what I got. Well, that wraps up. Live trade number two, as always, please seek financial advisement when trading with your money as these videos are for educational purposes only to support your knowledge in the market. See what's going through my head on any given trade. Please always make sure you have a solid trading plan and never move your stop when placing a trade. Have a good day. See you guys.